Good morning, my name is Melissa Wick and welcome to day 10 of 30 days of morning yoga. This morning's practice is all about boosting our immune system. So we're also going to stimulate the lymphatic system which helps to promote the elimination of toxins and waste and unwanted material. And we're going to downregulate the stress hormones by connecting with our breath because we know that stress definitely causes our immune system to weaken. So we want to just rebalance everything. We'll finish the practice in Shavasana to really reset the nervous system and tune into our radiance. So this practice is for all levels. If you're on this journey with me, welcome back. I'm so grateful you're here. It's an honor to be here with you. If you're here just for this one practice, that is also great, welcome. And if you wanna learn more about this 30-day morning yoga journey, head over to day zero. There are no props needed. Let's get into something comfortable and let's get this practice started. Let's begin this morning's practice in a comfortable seated position. Prop your hips up if you'd like. Find more ease in the spine and the hips, get comfortable. Adjust. For today's practice, we're going to work to stimulate the lymphatic system to help eliminate unwanted material and waste and toxins. And so we're going to focus on three main areas in the body where the three main lymph nodes are located. So the neck, the underarms, and the groin. So let us begin today with the hands on the lap, the thighs, whatever is most comfortable for you, palms up, palms down. We'll close the eyes. And we're gonna take three big deep breaths to cleanse and fully arrive here. Release all that stale air out and invite in vitality and renewal. So let's take a big breath in through the nose and as we do that, lift the shoulders up towards the ears, breathe in. And then big exhale out through the mouth and let your shoulders drop. Twice more. Inhale, lift the shoulders. Squeeze up. Exhale out of the mouth, all the air out. One more like this. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Good, close the lips. Close the eyes or just soften the gaze down towards the tip of the nose so we can start to shift our awareness internally. And bring your awareness and your focus to your breathing in and out through both nostrils if you can. Just feeling your belly softly rise and fall as you inhale and as you exhale. Inviting in the smooth rhythm of breath. Seeing if you could match the length of your inhales to the length of your exhales. Sitting up with a tall spine, relaxed awareness. And bringing your body and your awareness fully online right here in the present moment. Now as we're establishing this smooth connection and rhythm with our breath, you're welcome to keep the eyes closed. We're just gonna gently drop the chin down towards the chest while keeping the spine lengthened. And then gently lift the chin up and back as far as it feels okay for you. And then slowly back down, chin towards the chest. Feel that nice stretch in the back of the neck. And then back up. Head back to center and just turn your head to the left. Don't need to push it to the max. Go to your edge. Back to center, inhale. Exhale, turn your head to the right. Back to center one more time. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. You're inviting in nurturance as you do this. Over to the right. 
back to center. Now we're going to extend the arms out just to the sides, palms facing down, reach to the fingers. You might feel a nice stretch in the arms. And then we're going to tilt the right ear down towards the right shoulder and reach through your left fingers a little more. Breathe into the top of the left shoulder, the neck, perhaps the arm. Soft breath. Beautiful, back to center. Exhale, other side, left shoulder to left ear. No need to force it, just let yourself ease into it. Let the breath guide you. Reach through the right fingers. And soften any expression you may be holding on your face. Good, head back to center. Release your hands on the thighs. Drop the chin down again towards the chin and just start to make a U shape. One ear to one shoulder, other ear, other shoulder. Just back and forth like this, going as slow or as fast as you'd like. Just bringing more awareness to the neck area. Okay, and then release back to center. We're gonna bring the hands onto the shoulders and start to make circles here with your elbows. It doesn't matter which direction because we'll do both. So make this intuitive. Ideally, when the elbows go forward, you breathe in and when they go down, you exhale. So explore your range of motion, feeling the whole way through. Nice simple movements, but it, it is a lot more potent if we stay present with the movements, with our experience. and then change your direction. Good, release, inhale, both arms sweep up, feel the sides of your body lengthen. And exhale, lower the arms down with the out breath. Beautiful. Let's come on to all fours. We'll meet in tabletop position. Your block, if you have one, could just be at the top of the mat. Wrists under the shoulders, knees hip width distance. And a few cat cows, elongate the spine. Inhale, we'll release the belly, open the chest. You're welcome to close the eyes. And exhale, push the floor away, chin down into your cat. One breath per movement, twice more. Inhale, nice and smooth. And exhale, pull the belly in. Inhale, last one. Come forward, softening the shoulders. Exhale, belly pulls in, tail down. Neutral table, we'll tuck the toes underneath and we'll send the hips up and back to downward facing dog. So you can keep the knees really bent here, heels behind the toes, firm the outer ankles and outer thighs. Push down through the hands, broaden the upper back, release the tension in your neck, long spine, slight pull in of the belly, shoulders away from the ears. Maybe you wanna pedal it out, maybe you just warm up the hamstrings or be still. While still maintaining the smooth connection with your breathing. Okay, let's inhale and come forward to high plank. You can bring the knees down as you exhale, nice and control. Push down through the palms, elbows bend towards the backs of the knee, backs of the mat. <laughs> Point your toes. And then loop the shoulders onto the back. Inhale, cobra. So not too much weight into the hands. We want to feel the back body enliven, chin in, tops the feet press down. And then exhale, lower down. We'll do this twice more, nice and smooth. Elbows in, relax the shoulders down, inhale. You can gently engage the glutes for more stability. And exhale, lower down. And inhale, last one. Good, inhale all the way up into the chest, into the throat. And then out, all the air out as you exhale and lower. Tuck the toes underneath, maybe slide your hands down a little bit, elbows in. Push up, lift the belly, extend the arms as you breathe out, downward facing dog. 
Let us bend the knees and look between the hands. Walk or step to the top of your mat, feet hip width distance, forward fold. Just a few breaths here in your forward fold. You can bend the knees a lot if you'd like. You can even come into ragdoll if you like that. Release the tension in the neck. Good. Inhale to a halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. So chest open, chin in, belly in, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, we'll root down with the feet to rise all the way up. Arms sweep up and exhale, lower the arms down. Side stretch, so arms reach up, breathe in. As we exhale, left arm's gonna come down by the side, right arm's gonna arch up and over to the left. Collarbone smiling, bow the right side of the body, ground down through the right foot, tails lengthening down, low belly zips in. Reach the fingers, breathe into the right lung. And inhale, both arms reach up. As you exhale, right arm down, left arm up and over, chest open, tail down, breathing into the left lung, inviting in ease. And inhale, both arms sweep up. Exhale, hands circle behind you, interlace the fingers, bend the knees, loop the shoulders on the back and extend the elbows. In breath here, exhale, lead with your heart, hips go back and we fold. With the hands interlaced, chin in, belly in, arms go as far forward as it feels safe for you. Knees bent a lot or you could lengthen them. See which one feels better for you, more supportive. One breath at a time. Really tuning in to the downward effect of a forward fold. Releasing. Down re regulating the stress hormones. Good, and then release your hands with so much care. Halfway lift, breathe in, fingertips to shins or quads, long spine, exhale, forward fold. Now let's bring the feet, heel toe them, hip width distance apart for Malasana squat. So heels in, toes out, bend the knees, and maybe sit on a block. Might be really supportive here, or a bolster or pillows. Hands into prayer, knees are tracking in line, or the, yeah, knees in line with the toes, triceps, Pressing into the inner thighs, chest open, press into the palms, find length in the spine. All four corners of the feet grounded. You can stay center. If you want to add in the twist, we'll take the right fingertips out to the right. So right arm presses into the right leg, right leg into the right arm, and the left arm is going to open up. So we're just inviting in this opening here in the side body. More awareness in the underarm. Maybe look up if that feels okay for your neck or you can keep the head down. Connect with your breathing here. Can you find the breath even if the shape feels a little restrictive and if it's too tight and closed off, then ease off on the shape. And then we're gonna switch sides if you're in this twist. Left fingertips out to the left, arm into the leg, leg into the arm, right arm opens up. And then invite in ease once you get to your pose. Notice if you're tensing anywhere in the body, connect with your breath. And release, hands down. Lift the sit bones up, heel toe your feet underneath the hip bones. Halfway lift here to cleanse, breathe in. Chin in, belly in, shoulders back. And exhale, plant the hands down, bend the knees if you need to, and just step back to downward facing dog. Good, let's lift the heels, bring the knees down. We'll come to sit on the sit bones and have the legs come forward. And we'll bring the soles of the feet to touch and knees open. Now hands could wrap around your ankles or maybe hands around the feet, thumbs in the center of the foot. Maybe totally wrap your hands around the toes. So you decide what feels more supportive here. Heels can be really close to the groin or more of a diamond shape, feet forward. 
So try both, see what works better. You can always prop your hips up on a block. And inhale, open the chest here. Just enjoy this heart opener. And then as you exhale, let's fold. So let your shoulders relax, let your chin come in. Your arms could even press on the insides of the legs if that feels good. And stay tethered and close to your breath. One breath at a time. One more cycle of breath here. Good, and let's lift our chest up. We'll place the feet flat on the mat. Scoot yourself up a little bit. Arms extend, extend out in front of you. We're gonna slowly roll down, pull the belly in. And when we've been working with this roll down here. See if you can get the low back to touch the ground first. Coming down onto your back. Let's set ourselves up for a bridge pose. Feet hip width distance, heels close to your glutes, plant the feet down. Press the feet down, engaging the glutes and lift the hips up. Palms could stay down or you can interlace the hands behind the body, walk the shoulders in, pressing the arms into the ground. Weight is even on both sides of the legs. Soft breath. Inviting an ease. Notice if you're holding tension anywhere in the body. Just send the exhales and the breath into those areas. Notice if the hips are dipping a little. Can you find a little more lift without strain? Beautiful. Release your hands, the shoulders, and we'll slowly roll down upper back mid back low back release your hips release your glutes let's invite in a twist here so arms out into a t palms up left leg's going to extend out long right knee in and just twist over to the left rolling onto the left side body maybe left hand holds on to the right thigh palm right palm faces up wherever is comfortable for your neck for a full twist your head will go to the right but really just listen to what feels most supportive Close the eyes. And the awareness now is in the abdomen, just breathing into the belly, equalizing, neutralizing our practice. Beautiful, let's come back to center and come to the other side. So right leg extends, left knee in, and roll over to the right side. Maybe right hand holds on to the left thigh. Left arm opens up, find your spot for your head, close your eyes, tune into your breath. Beautiful. Let's release, come back to center, and lift and lower your hips just to level them out. Let's bring the knees in towards the chest and extend the legs up towards the sky, arms up towards the sky. And we're just gonna give it a little shake, shake, shake. No right or wrong. You can even exhale with pursed lips. 
I know it might be a little silly, but it's really calming for the nervous system. Let go of whatever is not of service. And bring your knees in towards the chest. Lift your chest and nose up. Acknowledge your efforts. Breath in. And exhale. Shavasana. Extend the legs out long. Take up as much space as you'd like. Get comfortable. Wiggles and jiggles out. Release any effort of your breath. Close your eyes. And this time is here for you to deeply nourish yourself at deep levels. So we just allow the energy, the prana, the life force that is within all of us to organize itself into balance, into harmony, and into coherence. We are resetting the nervous system, down-regulating the stress hormones. Tapping into our radiance and our resilience. And just let yourself bathe in your light and bathe in this peace. Setting yourself up for the rest of the day. But for now, there is nowhere else for you to be but right here. See if you could stay here for at least a few minutes to really receive your practice. Thank you so much for your trust, for sharing your practice with me, and for being on this journey with me. Namaste. Hi yogis, if you're looking to add on a meditation practice to your yoga journey or just to your yoga practice in general, you can select from one of these short but potent meditation practices. You can pick one to suit your needs. You can try the same one for the whole 30 days or try different ones depending on what you need in the moment. The meditation practice will help to deepen your yoga practice and it'll help to deepen your connection with yourself, strengthen your awareness, and learn some tools on how to self-regulate and to find that place of ease and calm within you on and off the mat. Namaste.